Yo guys, what's going on? Ghost here. I'm not Ghost anymore, my bad. Excel. And um, I'm starting off this tutorial series. It's going to be six or five episodes. I'm not sure. It was 30 minutes long. Um, I'm kind of slow with my tutorial, guys. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I kind of drag it on. But um, yeah, so this is going to be five or six episodes. I hope you guys like it. Um, I want to say thanks for 1K, guys. It really means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, peace. Um, sorry if I kind of talked fast in that, trying to speed this up. But yeah, peace. Let's watch this tutorial. Yo, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, ghost here, or not Ghost anymore? It's Excel. Sorry, I had to change my name. Is there already a Ghost in Dare? But whatever. Excel. Excel sounds cooler to me. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So uh, today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a really good-looking, like 2D background, no 3D. Uh, I think they look really nice. It's gonna be black and white. So uh, first off, you're gonna click on your channel sections. You're gonna go down to your. It, it's a circle with a. It's half black and half white. Um, you're gonna click on that. And you're gonna go to black and white. So this makes it so there's. It's just black and white. There's no color. Uh, now what you're gonna want to do is go to channel sections. I'm gonna show you guys how to make my modules. And alright. Okay, so I like my modules. Dark gray. So I'm gonna try to find a good gray here. That's good right there. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it a drop shadow. Not too dark, not too big. And an inner shadow. It's kind of small. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is duplicate it. Whoops. And then I'm gonna clear layer styles. Hold Control. I'm gonna click my channel sections copy. Go to select, modify, contract, one pixel. I'm gonna backspace. And then I'm gonna go to select inverse. Go to the original channel sections layer, and then backspace. And then what you're going to want to do is go to your channel sections copy, go to color overlay, and then white. Okay, uh, there we go. I don't know why I didn't do it at first. And then what you can do is just um, bring your opacity down, and it gives it that kind of look. Alright, the next thing I do is I go to channel sections, make a new layer, get my brush tool out, make it so it's like the fade brush. I don't know what to call it. Uh, you're going to want to make it about 625 for the size. Sorry, my keyboard's kind of needs new batteries, it's wireless. I won't type stuff. Yeah, I'm just hit six like eight, eight times. Okay, six twenty-five. All right, so now we got that. I'm gonna hold Control on your original channel sections. There we go. My keyboard once again being gay, and you're just gonna wanna like just click right there. You wanna line it. Whoops, I'm on the wrong layer. Okay, I'm line it up right there, and just click. And once again, I forgot to change it to white. So let me delete that. Go to my, gotta go to my history. Make sure this color right here is on white before you do it. I always make that mistake. All right, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. And then I'm gonna line it up. Click, and then I just uh, delete it when like I just delete the light on the other modules because those. Those will have its own lights. Okay, so now we got that. I'm gonna take my fill down to a good. So get my keyboard once again. Ten. Let's try ten. Okay, let's try fifteen. It's not, not the color I'm looking for. Yeah, let's go with 20. I'm liking 20. 
so you want to make a new layer go back to your brush tool make it a bit smaller and make mine about 550 yeah it's good pull control channel sections line up in the middle and right there Then want to delete the, the light out of the other modules. And then I'm going to copy this layer style.